Hundreds of years of ever-growing populations, increasingly destructive developments, and commercial exploitation pillaging the sea have left the Caribbean a weak shadow of what greeted the first European explorers many centuries ago. Except for one hidden and forgotten corner. Think Cuba, and you think of gas-guzzling American cars over half a century old, wheezing smoking through the crumbling streets of Havana. You think of the Caribbean island that lifted two fingers to its superpower neighbor in the 1960s, and has been punished for it ever since. After over 50 years of American blockade, the once fine colonial facades have fallen into chronic disrepair. Think Cuba, and you think of fat cigars, of mojitos. It's certainly not a name that conjures up thoughts of marine reserves. Yet Cuba is home to what is perhaps the Caribbean's most important marine reserve. And it's a reserve that came into being as much by accident as by design.